nothing has changed. My sister, you cannot keep praying to God when you are also performing idol worshiping activities. It'd be like you finish seeking God and then you go back and wash your hands in sin again. And then go back again and say, God, we have to know the truth. And we have to know what is for God and what is not of God. It is not time to seek God for money. It is time for God to teach us the sound doctrine. It is time to seek God to open your spiritual eyes, to separate you from idol worshiping, from wickedness, evil strong powers of darkness, principalities that are not supposed to be there in your life. He should release you and ask him in case I am living in it. Because some of this idol worshiping, even things that like in African cultures, when the child is born, there are certain things that is just idol worshiping because the God of Abraham already spent nine months making the baby, cooking it in the womb for African people to come and do jaga jaga smoke. That thing the Lord don't like ammo. They will smoke and everything the baby need to carry. He carried it before enter this world. Where you dare how that baby come out? Because once upon a time that baby was somewhere locked up by the power and the grace, the powers of God. That baby go come out. So whatever it needs, the Lord has given it. And if he wants to give more, he will also reveal. So we need to pray. Some of us are not yet pregnant. We cannot get pregnant. Because the idol worshiping thing they told us, you think that is for blessing. But the devil tells you this thing is for blessing, when actually it's a curse. You keep doing the same thing, actually you are tying wounds in your family. Some are even practicing hardcore witchcraft. Some are even astral projecting. We need a lot to deliver us. Some of you don't even know that you astral project. That's why you are found in people's dreams. Especially if you are found in people's dreams every time you, you are in somebody's dream about death, about wickedness. You need to go and ask the Lord, Father, who is coming in my house? Which evil spirit and strong, a, a strong man of wickedness is coming in my house? Carrying me, my body, and showing other people that it is me attacking them in the dreams. And now people start to look at you like, oh, Brother Muiza, Sister Muiza, she a witch. Oh, Sister Sharo, she a witch. Not know that they are climbing your body using it for us to protect it. We need to be delivered from that. And that's why the papas who are so afflicted, they don't even know itself. Look when demons come around. Instead of them casting them out, they want to start speaking things. Start exalting the demon and the order. Yeah, I see this and I see that. And they cannot even cast away the demon. You need to be released, sister. From that thing, the enemy blindsides you, the Lord opens your eye. When the enemy is doing this, the other hand is doing something else. You need the Lord to release you. Show me how, teach me how, heal Lord, oh my God, and I will worship thee. when I see my generation, we are asking for riches and money. When the world looks like it can just collapse and crash the more. Worried about vanity. Instead of asking for all for restoration from the Lord. For purification, refinement. For forgiveness. For separation of evil principalities. Because demons have become comfortable with this generation. Because we have no spiritual understanding and knowledge of who God is and what is of Yahuwah or not. So demons are actually sitting in our midst. They are sitting in our families, in our houses. They even choose it, especially when they see your prayer. They want to taste if you, you, the God in you is real. That's why a lot of you, you are very prayerful. 400 million people in the world are dealing with evil in-laws, wicked in-laws. God never allowed a man that fears him to marry a wicked woman. The woman was wicked, the first man. The second man, she was refined. The moment that man married that woman, the Lord changed everything. Sons are marrying Jezebel spirits and snakes that are coming to choke the neck of their mothers. No spiritual understanding. And that's how the devil is tiring fake Christians. He's saying, oh, you want to act like you have Jesus. Oh yeah, fight us. So if you are fake, he will tire you. They are looking rich out here, looking like they are living a good life, but you can't even sleep. My sisters, when you're sleeping good, that's why people think that you don't comb your hair. My sisters sleep very well. I sleep by the presence of the Father. And if you would also hear what I hear and what he tells me, if you are the person or relationship like I have, you would also be stubborn towards me and start for the name of Jesus Christ at this way. Period. 
It is where you period. Let's close my brothers and sisters. So that's what we came to do. Papa Rukafira is working today. I'm just gonna go home, get ready. I cooked yesterday, so the food from yesterday we can eat it twice today. That's what I love about the days that I go to work now because it helps. Amen. So I pray that we get the message I'm trying to make us understand. Because there are a lot of you. And some of you feel like when you are serving God for years, you know it all. You have diplomas. But a lot of you, you've been going through a false doctrine your whole life. The only thing that makes you feel like you have anointing is because that demon is a performer. Demons, that's why the devil sends demons. Because demons are very, very, very profound performers. They act anything, any role. Hmm. If you want them to act mama drama, they go give you mama drama. If you want them to act mama petty, self-pity, they go, demons are wicked. That's why the Lord chucked them out of the kingdom of God. He said, you are going to be out there with your father, Satan, fallen angels, once good children of God, they can listen to the devil. Oh. That's what the devil is loving at the moment for, for this generation to cook keep idol worshipping and that's why everything that exposes the truth is fighting all pages all platforms where wherever they sound doctrine satan doesn't want that sound doctrine to just come out of life it comes with distraction and confusion people be fighting the ones that are giving them sound doctrine but the ones that are blindsiding them let me tell you the devil is a liar that's why they say he's a of hope you better wake up and we better grow very quick too we don't have time the enemy has been plotting evil a long time when you see your generation this generation is a generation that wants to be tr not transformed by God transformed to be God that's why this generation see how people are going under Sejar to be what a computer to be AI this generation love everything that there is no limit and that's why even the way we are dying young you find it so so sad that the devil has gloated this generation and he has made us love this world more than we love our own lives because it is our lives he's selling. Let me tell you one thing. Yeah, we don't love ourselves. We wouldn't sell our souls to Satan. I'm telling you the truth. If we loved ourselves, we wouldn't. I'm feeling like this news. Look, it's nothing. We love this world so much. That's why people prefer to die on a plastic surgery table. To die, to look cute. It's better to look cute than to be alive. That's what this generation says. Am I lying? That's why women are lining up. Plastic surgery after plastic surgery. Different kinds of things that women are doing. Makeup, hair, all of this. New things are coming out from the marine kingdom every day because the devil knows this generation has no spiritual life. Because the devil laughs at Christians that actually he's sitting in their house. They are pastors, great people in the world, respected by everybody, and they have ministries. But the devil is laughing at him. The devil is laughing at those. He says, if you're a true man of God, true man of God, how can you not see that I'm seated here? And that's why he doesn't like people like me because you know why? The devil don't sit in my house. The devil want to have a small piece in my house, but the Lord kicked him out. You know, when they say that light, it was like lightning, when they threw the accuser of Oprah on it, the devil has been thrown out of my house. Let me tell you one thing. He crying. With women, he's so happy because we are so much into self. I want to look good. Hi, Sister Becky. Hello, my sister. I want to look cute. I want to look fine. What will a woman not do? They've all gone manufacture it. Number one customer. Now woman. And then he's doing double business. Because after the woman do whatever she does, the men are the ones dying in it. Luscious spirit. That's why these days, the devil said, big nyash they sell. My sisters, people's lives. What has changed your life, my sister? Sister, shall not this one be interviewed? Idris, be answering there in your home. I want you to tell me that uh, your biggest present is this nyash that you got. Let me do it for you, Idris. Hello, Sister Idris. How are you? I am fine. Thank you so much. So we just want to ask you, Sister Sharon Idris, what is your biggest accomplishment in this life? What are you uh, proud of and that 
what you love the most what is is so important to you oh thank you so much for that question for me the most important thing is my nyash you know since i was sharon without a nyash when my nyash was really flat life was really cold and low but ever since i got this nyash my life has changed i'm telling you this nyash has bought me a house a car everything it's actually you know they say god can change your life but me my nyash has changed my life yeah and don't be racist towards one another now black woman bleaching skin to become like white woman is just as eco see minister simba bonjour my sister bonjour <laughs> hello black women who bleach to want to become like white women you are just eco share this demon together with your fellow white sisters if they try to turn themselves or go into the sauna to blackalize themselves or to, to make sure that they go into that uv lighting the one they make you you seen the first white woman who turned from white black. don't call them out any white woman who feel black out here my sister come out oh my black sisters have already infiltrated your lives too because they won't be white like you who who uh, inspire them that when they put carolite the skin outside ego pew they didn't want their skin to be red if they didn't want to be like white woman then they would have been using bleaching cream when you finish to bleach you become orange or red no but the bleaching cream they use in a go move from michael jackson black to michael jackson white hello you are the same so you are all, you see a woman be so black and white woman don't hate each other including muslim sisters don't hate one another you are one love one another and pray for each other my pray the lord deliver your generation now so this generation when i see the way i said i changed my life ah you see me i called blacky this used to be sister ada sister ada used to be very humble and then sister ada she bleach my sister's one thing you can bleach your whole body the line in between your nyash and your knuckles it remain permanent the lord he said it shall be permanent if you are born black yo, your nyashi line and your nakon karama hey, it shall be permanent permanent it shall be permanent Pama, it shall be permanent if you were black like me you remain in black ammo oh you can try to bleach it cook it in the acid if you were born in black the line between your nyash and the knuckles here, truth be bitter, it shall remain in black. Yo, shadow on my line. That's why when you see people they bleach, when they remove their hand, put the tear, you think they are being kidnapped because it look like it's two people. One, her face is in Morocco. The other one, a a a a, a, a body and hand is in a Yugoslavia. How okay, can your body live in so two different a, a, a continents and even countries so far apart away? Because Yugoslavia, I'm sure, is in Europe, even if I'm not intelligent. Morocco in Africa. Hello, you ca cannot, like the South African people can say, Hi, Kona, that is drama queen, I'm a dragon, I'm a demon, we don't want food sex, I don't food sex. Hello? Hello? You be the same? see her you know when i was growing up i find this so sad that even journalists from europe were interviewing african sisters they don't be hating me i'm just delivering the message the way it is and this is your own doing my black sisters we have put this thing out here by ourselves and our white sisters so don't don't get prepared if you get prepared take it up with the lord and if you go say anything bad out of your mouth may the fire of the lord make sure that it quench your mouth very well so that when you swallow now holy ghost fire go quench you renew you in jesus name oh yeah my brothers and sisters it be the same as when you were black i see this documentary the white woman says so hi what do you like about the bleaching cream or what does it do for you you know when i was growing up they used to make fun of me they used to tell me that i'm blacky i am nigger i am very very dark and no man he want me no man he want me so when i hear about color light i decided to apply color light 
and color light it make my skin so smooth that after two years i found a husband that's why we marry have you seen bankers when they bring their wives she can dress well well she can smell well well but a lot of them they have a testimony walking with them home. they color off their narco it be the same as the one in Karabash. Back up. Hey, Jehovah. <laughs> I turned the Lord because I almost went to brutalize myself. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, my love. Let me wash my language now because my daughter in law be here. She's too small, but she's a woman of the Lord. Anyway, brother Alvin, take Stephanie away right now because I'm, I'm just giving open with you and truth out here to the, to the big women. I don't want Stephanie because I know that she's privy to the truth of the Lord, but the Lord do it at the right time. She's not right for this topic because it's not her right time you understand my brother yes because i don't want her to go and report me to my son our husband that will go get problem my brother hmm? these children they are not even our relative the relationship is between you and me you're my father's son i'm your father's daughter hello ooh, 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 praise the lord let's carry the god the truth i see the way she did praise carol rights carol rights Carol Wright, my sisters, is the most important thing that has ever happened to her. And another one that makes me feel sad. My black brothers, you have done us very bad. That your women can sit in documented documentaries that are presented to the whole entire world. And that's what they think of a black woman. And that's why when they see us who are really black like this, the white man, they faint. Either she don't bleach, her knuckle is still the same. He faint. Her teeth, 32 teeth. In fact, 33 plus the extra one the Lord gave me to bite on the devil. So I don't have 32 teeth, but I have 33 plus the anointed teeth. Idris, are they showing? Hello, praise the Lord. When I see the one, I do They see the one, I say, 32 teeth, still in there. Hello. And you know when they say they are looking yellow. <laughs> Now more Oibo man like it because he knows when your teeth is looking yellow from your skin is the, the confusion of the pigment in a way. Those who have wisdom and knowledge, they know. The people who are darker, we look like we, we have the most brightest teeth because it complements our melatonin. The Lord, the God of Abraham make it like that, that it shall complement our melatonin. Just like the white sisters, the Lord give them Solomon long hair. So it complement them. The Lord give all of us each. It just, I don't understand why plan A is playing in plan B and plan B is playing in plan A. The devil go condomize them, sodomize them, gomorize them, sodomize them, gomorize them, and doing that rubbish. So my brothers and sisters, I'm just here to tell you the truth, oh. And when you stop breaching, your testimony of breaching will, will be with you. Especially if you stop late. Even when the God of Abraham deliver you. We see them. They have big testimony. You even know that this one was standing on the side of the road because of the bleaching cream. Because most women who bleach, they have no fear to open their legs. It be a demon that aligns. It's the Jezebel spirit. A lot of you can't be offended, but it's just the way it is. It be the Jezebel spirit. Most women who bleach, the lack of self-love, control, discipline, and care about them, they are the ones who are more likely easy to be found on the street, a.k.a. Asha was doing night dogo dogo business. Yes, it go together. So when you see her bleaching from a young age, just know that the spirit in her, in our country in Zambia, how is, do I have any Zambian here who could translate? Ukupama. Ukupama. That demon is just stubborn and rebellious, ruthless. It will do anything. Now the same spirit that take women to go and sit on plastic surgery, to die. To die. Let me tell you, human being, when the Lord said when we die, we shall collect new body, even the ones who are supposed to be born again believers, when they tell them that, oh, you have to do this, for example, or you have to lose a, a part of your body. The way they worry about the body that the Lord said, do not worry about this body from the dust it came from, the dust it going back to. And when you arrive in heaven, you are not going to arrive with one leg if you died with one leg. Although I don't understand, but this generation, not generation that Satan has used rubbish knowledge on, and they, we actually eat it. And the last thing I want to say before I close, Look, I'm doing like I have microphone. I go continue to keep the phone here. Black men, it's sad, especially if you have daughters like my brother Elvin. I pray that black men, 
you are complimenting your daughters. If she's born black like me, please compliment her so that she never has to bleach or ever grow like she doesn't feel good enough. Because the black brothers you share with Africa, your black brother, Nigeria, go laugh at your daughter. Mozambique will laugh at daughter. And when I say brothers, Africa is one. Black man, if you have daughters, because African men, sympathy be a little, they are lacking on stability of sympathy, emotional support towards a woman. They can't handle that. They only know how to fix Toto. They know how to injure Toto. They know how to, to break the cow. They know how to break the egg. In fact, he got, they are known as number one uh, how you call it this person they call him bazooka number one vagina stretching it is stretch your daughter that's what they say it is stretch so brothers and sisters especially to the men make sure you put affirmation of how she's beautiful she's born with a tone like mine and sharon and even more darker please because when i see online here that girl i don't know if she's from sudan I don't know what her name is, but she's on TikTok. I don't know what happened with the Zambians, but the words that the African woman outers to her sister is not even insults. It's telling her that God made a mistake on you. And this is the reason why they go and bleach. And the moment they bleach, the devil kills them to love the things that God has created about them. So they are ruthless. They take away marriages. They ruin homes very easily. They run from one man to the other. So to the black men, do not, African man, if you are raising a daughter, black in complexion, has got strong, beautiful, melatonin features like me. The one, the Lord, because he took the Lord, we were in the Lord's hands extra time. Those of us who are features like me and Sharon, we were in the hands of the Lord extra time. Do you know how long it took the God of Shadrach, the God of Abraham, to design this nose so that when, he, when I sleep, it's like this. When I'm talking, it'll be like, when I'm smelling, you can smell. Do you know how much it do? No buri no, so no buri can talk. No buri so I make the eye and pop them way, way inside. So, to all the black brothers, I am telling you, you cannot trust your African fellow brother and countrymen to help you raise that daughter. If you want them not to bleach and be cheap women out here, scopodono no fried with products, giving them cancer in the end, killing them. Affirm your children. If you are a father, in the morning when she wakes up, before she leaves the house, remind her that she's loved, she's cherished, she's valued, she's fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God, and she's beautiful. Because I come from a country where I've never heard that. Even up to now in my forty, I have never heard it. The most things I've heard, not from African men out of Zambia, from Zambian men who have raised me, I have heard how I am a good spirit and a good woman, but I am not beautiful. And the devil is a liar. Because you see, the Lord said, you don't want this anointed beautiful apostle? Let me dash it to the Dutch. Now that way I go forgive the Dutch for all the wicked they do. I said, Father, send me. <laughs> send me. And if I could make video for them so they can see how their Dutch brother is getting the benefit so some of you, your stupidness is the reason why the Lord even allowed interracial because women like me, we are not safe with you black men. I'm sorry, you raised me, but you did not raise me. You broke me, that's your raising up. So to all of you who are raising daughters, do not trust any other black man apart from yourself to affirm who she is. Because your black brothers, the Zambian men that are online bullying that. I don't know if it's from Sudan or Uganda, that girl, I don't know what she did to some other people. The comments when I see them, that, that's not comments. That's a case for the whole nation. And that's why in Zambia, look, if you look online, there is not even one good news about Zambia, but Zambian people are asleep and they are my people and I keep telling them the truth. My brothers and my sisters, you cannot devour people on how God created them. That's why me and Sharon, we don't play that game. Hello. We don't play that game. And we'll never play that game. That the daughter of Sharon, what kind of joke or rubbish is it normal? I see them in the comments telling the girl from Uganda, you are so ugly that your palm is so dark like the between of the nyash. I look at Zambian people, I said, if they can break a foreigner like this, what you want me to do with these people? 
So when you hear me speak pigeon and you think I come from Nigeria, think it like that. It's better. It's okay because you know why? There is nothing that I go get that is good. Though. Even if today I will wait, they will still say, oh, she's got a beautiful voice, but she ugly. I don't have time for people who speak what the Lord has not spoken. So to all black fathers, this is just an extra wisdom from the topic we talked about. God teaching us to know him, to save him with a sound doctrine. And this also can be put together as idol worshipping. Idol worshipping is telling people they are beautiful when they are plastered in makeup like dragons. What are they beautiful about? They came like that from the Lord. And that's the reason why the, the, the woman is dying. The real, a lot of you, you wish you could be like me, free. Free like this, that you, are, you don't fear and you don't get afraid. And millions of people, billions, they will watch you across the whole entire world. You don't care. Even when I fly from here to Lagos, fly from here to Canada, fly from here to Germany. Ah, my brothers, I'll be flying natural like this with my hair like that. A lot of you want to be like this. Because that's who you are, really, really. The extra curriculum vitae is because when you don't dress like them, they will tell you you are ugly. And woman, I don't know why you keep telling other women online, avoid people who tell you negative things. Just forget those words. Words hurt because if words were not hurting, how come half of the whole generation you have banged up broken women that do not know who they are, that cannot even be simply, truthfully, wonderfully, fearfully and made in the image of God, authentic selves. I have a bunch of fake wannabes. I'm an authentic woman. If somebody's going to dare to come to me, dare to present yourself in the full glory that God created you, here I am. Hello? Hello? Tell the devil that he's losing. Hello? Tell hell that we are setting it and butching it on fire. Hello? Tell your father that heaven is barbecuing and we are throwing the barbecue in the pit of hell. Am I lying? Broken up women. Broken. Bluesed. Rebecca, I know it all. I know it. The ones that go to the gym, if they would go to the gym for healthy reasons, my sister it would be a blessing. But to go to gym so that everybody <laughs> can stretch the leg like this. Piago, stand on stretch. Piago, Piago. No, 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 no. The ones that actually need to be in the gym, they are sitting on their beds. They are health and cholesterol. Dying. The ones that are just stretching bone and body, wanting to shape. Shape what? What you are shaping, my sister? As we are being shaped by the glory of the Lord. That's why my husband, they say, I be sweet, my sister. If you ask my husband in private, <laughs> it's just that we have to be appropriate. We are children of the Lord. We are not prostitution. If you ask my husband, I tell you, this one be sweet. <laughs> Sweeter than anything I've tasted, it be close to the love of the Lord. <laughs> That's why it be born of my bone, fresh of my fresh. Hello? Tell me about it. Generation that you don't see women at a lot of you are wearing makeup because they broke you sis and that's why when you come here when I was starting in the first year when people are telling me to avoid that not anything keep quiet you are not even half or even a quarter or a pinch strong like I am oh oh get out of here and that's why when they find single women they are banging a uh, uh, natural women. I mean, they are banging them on the wall, banging them on the way. Sister uh, Tandile, Jonana, God bless you, my sister. May God bless you and reward you for those stars that you send. May He reward you home and favor you. That's why you are, they are coming. Am I lying? Because if you were comfortable, every woman wearing makeup, go and ask yourself, did you wear makeup because you discovered how beautiful it brings you, or because you know that it's part of society? It's a must. The problem in your generation, you are living in a must kind of generation. It's a must. It's a must. And to fit in, I stopped to. I have done makeup. I have tried to walk in heel. I have tried British, American, polite English, where you are speaking English, and your brain is also speaking English, and your Google is also speaking English, and your Siri is also speaking English, because you want everything to come out good, like other women, that's why when they say they have headache, my sister, how can you not have headache, your whole brain is working out to speak this good English, and your wig is, is sewn in that thing, all of glued in, it's tight, even the Lord said, Pharaoh, let my people go, they could have not crossed that, that sea if they were still in Pharaoh land, wisdom, Sister, release your head. 
release your head. So when you're speaking, oh yeah, I don't know. Oh, I don't know what. And then when you see the bleach hand with a fake wig, it'll be looking like two animals, a dog and a cat mixed together. What kind of breed be that? Pussy dog. Ah, uh, all doggy puss. Ah, uh, blood of Jesus. We refuse that one. God, I thank you for releasing me. And Father, I thank you that when I was in my teenage, you remember, Lord, when my friends, we were all breast, breast coming out and we are becoming women, small, small. We are smelling still pee, but and poop in between but we are feeling like we are women i remember my friends uh, sister rebecca sharon sharon you know these stories let me just leave idris today let me tell some other people because idris you know idris be my intercessor intercessing for the kingdom of god she be for the hello you get it my sisters i tried it, it. i bleached my skin my mama didn't know i bleached my skin that that cream that i use jaribu who remember jaribu who know Jari because there are some of you who are still using Jaribu. If you are using Jaribu, just say, I, it's better to say the truth before the presence of the Lord because if you lie, na Jaribu na use Jaribu in your house. Jaribu. My sisters, I tried Jaribu. Mekako. Who know Jaribu and Mekako era? Yes, that was the time. Those were the things they were using for my generation. A Diprozone. Uh -huh. Medication. I found out in the Oiboland, Diprozone is a medication to do something. In Africa, diplozone, it didn't make black woman white. Lord, that's why it's South Africa. In Pakistan, we are selling plastic instead of condom. Lord, no. Let me tell the truth. You know what the truth is, Harry? The joy they come out. Because the Lord has rebuked me already. My sisters had to bleach myself well, well. That thing cooked me like embalming. You know, when a dead person died. They embalm them. You know the process of embalming to preserve. I woke up the, the next day looking like a, they wanted to embalm me. I almost entered the, the pit of hell. But the Lord saved me by grace. My sisters, the reaction of that, yeah, I never did it again. And how it made me light. The skin, the Lord said there's anointing in this skin. The Lord delivered me. I'm telling you, no be joke. Because where I got light, was just a couple of places you know it looked like when you bleach you bleach black a black shirt and put bleach there it become white it become like a how do they call that disease viagro vego sister sharon that disease that they start with v the one they say michael jackson was suffering from the one they say that when i start to get uh -huh. it looked like that my sister mm, i told the lord i said father and i don't know why i used to talk like i'm talking by myself just like this i said if this thing go back in again i'll never do it again my sisters i never went back in again i only have one on my thigh as a remembrance because the black pelatonin never come out there that one was butchered it was roasted fried hello look at you now and you know when you do it when you are young the generation has killed your generation some of you you took part to fit in but those are products ways and signs of a woman who is loose who is gullible who don't love herself just like a prostitute a prostitute doesn't love who who god created her because if you loved yourself you would not allow everybody to throw up in you lie lie you would not accept every demon to enter you no 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 that's the reason why Jesus died on the cross. So that every entity shall not enter you. And then if you look at it, yesterday night I was watching a clip that came by of this uh, former late uh, comedian, Bernie Mac. He said, you know the things, we, are all, we have a lot of things in common between black and white. But do you know the thing that the, the black culture, we are the type that is always wearing swagger from head to toe. But get in the house. Children are hungry. There is no investment, no health insurance, no owned home, no business, no life insurance. Damn, rubbish, tico, as stupid as they can be. Vitilego, thank you, my sister Destiny. Thank you for telling us. Vitilego, Vitilego, that's the disease. You see, they are posted by the grace. I told you, Master, I cannot read and write, but by the grace of the Lord. Am I not functioning? Sharon, am I not functioning? Becky, am I not functioning? Praise the Lord, my sisters. Lucky, am I not functioning? Sister Tandy, am I not functioning?
tenti onge mlungu ni nishita function mlungu ni wachi fundu huyu unga kale danda head kuenango but kuli yesu ah yesu ndia maona chape ni meso ya yesu ya java mnia ona yesu ndia veni ona nine so as we close women wake up it's because you don't love yourself really not even loving our own children we are dying with brazilian hair and a beat face leaving children behind homeless that when your coffin enter the ground your children are officially declared homeless have we ever dreamt some of us that we die and we left our children how how comfortable are you to leave these children especially knowing the information now the devil has gotten this generation and that's why they are hurt he has given them what they want god has allowed this generation to take what they want the devil has given you something you have accepted it god cannot force this generation this generation of my people that are called by me repent and seek me what does the bible say i will hear them i will deliver them i will set them free so my brothers and sisters if god himself has called us and we repent as a generation god will set us free but this generation doesn't want to be set free this generation what is showing itself to god is like they would rather live everything it's like they only have one life but they know that there is life after this it's like they want to live every piece and rope of life here on the earth they would do also anything for it and because the devil knows that we do not ask god to know him false doctrines that's why how can you your heart really desire god and you start giving up things because the doctrines the the idol worshiping things the generational strongholds and cases you attached to they are still moving with you how you expect jesus to come in somebody has to drop things for jesus to come in jesus don't come in a full house he wants to come in an empty house he will find a filthy house he clean it before he go and sleep the lord don't like to sleep in filth lie lie that's why you're looking smart outside but your homes are not clean for jesus to come and sit in because you are beat yeah. let's go my brothers and sisters let me go and prepare a job for my family i'll see all of you by the will and the grace of god and that's why if you are finding men of god who are just telling you about tithe men of god who can tell you about testimony who can tell you about a, a, a i mean prophecy leave those men of god because prophecy shall come to pass whether you decree or declare it prophecy shall come to pass is everything that has happened on this earth do you have it in the bible that it was a prophecy it has been fulfilled there is time for prophecy and for fulfillment this is a generation that lives only for prophecy but where is the personal relationship with god where is it and it's dangerous because you speak in tongues you can prophesy you interpret dreams with no personal relationship with god Oga. I want to ask you, which spirit is driving you? That's why when they come around me, they jagge, jagge them, tire them with the wisdom of the Lord. They get irritated by me because they've been hiding in my generation a long time with the lies of the pit of hell, sitting like I don't know. May God have mercy. Brothers and sisters, let's carry the go. I'll see you people. My YouTube family. Today I used the iPad that Shamwari bought for me for YouTube because I caught it from Apostle so that she don't suffer. God bless all of you, love all of you. Use wisdom. <laughs> let's see God. And no matter what you say, it is not testimony that will make you make the kingdom of God. It is not makeup or anything that will make you the kingdom of God. And what baffles me is that my generation, I ask God all the time. I say, God, if you say you do not care about the vanity upon vanity, and we should care about the things that will make judgment day, why are we here on earth preparing things that will not be able to be presented on judgment day? Why are we preparing a story for God that he will not judge on judgment day? But one thing that the Lord will judge on judgment day is parents that were living a rich lifestyle out here, wearing makeup head to toe, yet never invested anything on their children. Those ones, God will punish them. Because you remember what the Lord said, a wise man live in inheritance for children. A foolish man, a foolish man calling his children to walk around naked. And you can only be comfortable to be a fool. And you are making those decisions and when they call you fool don't get angry you live like a fool you act like a fool you behave like a fool you are a fool you love your makeup so some women i feel sorry for them when i look at their children they are too young i said this girl is foolish you love makeup and wig so much but look at these children 
And then when people die, they leave children like that. They want the whole world to join. That's why the Lord told me, when it comes to funerals, don't ever fund a funeral anyhow. Because all of us have been given the grace. The reason why some of us still remain in poor circumstances is because of the choices we make. And that's why even with my own blood family, I told them, I said, I'm changing my life. I want to make sure that I can live in inheritance. The only thing the Lord said I should live for my children is inheritance. And the, the most important thing that I should give to my children is the word of God and for them to save God and to receive God. Those are the most two important things. And I work on those things every day because it's important to God. To actually worry about how I look. I could worry about how I look if the Lord made a mistake. But if I can look myself well, well, not if, because the English term is, when I look myself well, well, the God of Abraham said, it was done. He created me in his own image. And he said it, he was pleased. Heaven, angels danced that day. Baby Rachel Botta will be born. And the Lord said, an apostle, a woman apostle, I have sent her to the world. He, he, can't, you, he can't make you an apostle like me and you are called ugly. I'm sorry, you need to clean your... You are probably seeing me in your physical eye because your physical eye is what they have told you to see. Your spiritual eye is exactly as pure and bright as the light of the Lord. You will see the truth. You need to wipe your face. Wash your face with the blood of Jesus Christ. Rub it well, well with the Holy Ghost and let the Holy Spirit soak in. Make sure that you mask it. And then after you finish masking it in the Holy Spirit, wash it again with the blood of Jesus Christ and then make sure that you apply the word of God. You will see me well, well because the Lord cannot call you an apostle like me and put all what he has put in me and you are considered ugly no that's those are, that's the level of the world but in heaven even the angels they say look at the daughter of the most great high she's us she fine and my husband and my children oh every day the lord remind me when i wake up they say the apple of his eye i don't know if you never hear it but me i hear it every day and if you don't get it forget about it let's carry the go my family Let's carry the go. Hello. Let's carry the go. Yes. And there is nothing that I'm changing because in my mother's womb, he knew me. Where I was to the world, they say I was in the womb, but the, the soul was with God and it sat with God. And before I came to this world, if I could remember, if God would allow us to remember those things, ah, I would have remembered. But I know that this same God. I've been in the hands of my father, my creator. Yes, the same God that nobody has seen. I've been in his hands. He held me like this. He kissed his life and breathed his life into me. First, he gave me kisses. He said, I bless you. I love you. I fearfully and wonderfully made. And then he breathed his life into me. Ah, let me tell you, my father suffered for this woman to come and have a permanent, abundant life of grace and goodness and love in all season and out of season, in good and bad times, in the dark, in persecution and tribulation, she shall rejoice. He said that peace will be my own. Who wants to shake my peace? Come and meet my papa because before you come and disturb that peace, you have to be at the garment of the Lord. And I've never seen anybody who has seen the Lord and try waga waga with him. And wrong. Praise the Lord. Let's carry the go. My sisters, I hope it's clear. And to the black men, go and affirm that girl. My dad did not affirm to me that I was beautiful through words. But one thing my father Langford do, did, which I'm still grateful for, my dad would show his affection and his love and how beautiful I was in his ways. My dad did not tell me, oh, Rachel, you are beautiful because the African, the, the, the Zambian community I grew up, the same Africa, told me that I'm ugly. My dad did not, he also didn't know as a black man because a lot of black men, they just don't hold their daughters and give them a kiss on the cheek, even on the lips and say, I love you. You are my daughter. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. God loves me that he gave you. Others, they do not do that. My dad didn't know how to do that. But my dad would show me. He would hold my hand when they beat me up or when they make fun of me. My brother beat me up. My father would come up for me. If they make fun of me when I'm coming from school, I tell him that all the other children say that I am nigger, I am cheap black. I look so ugly like I don't know. My father would be the one. Uh -huh. Sorry, sorry. My internet had to reconnect. So my father was Mr. Ibu. He's Mr. Ibu. He didn't know how to affirm. But my father was tender. His spirit, his soul, his ways helped me to have a comfort place, a comfort zone where I can actually feel like, okay, 
I am good here and I'm beautiful. A lot of you, your daughters are going to government schools. Teachers speak rubbish because in the African community, speaking filth and rubbish over your women and your children is a normal attitude. That's why when you come to me and tell me that there is something wrong with me, I don't even pray for anything else. I told the Lord to drop you, die, never wake up again. Because if there's something, if I am ugly, then the Lord lied that I am fearfully and wonderfully made in his image. But if God has never lied and will never lie, drop down and don't wake up tomorrow. And let me tell you, there are people who have dropped down. They never woke up. Idris, am I lying? Am I lying? The same way I stand in his word in tenderness. Now the same way I stand in his wrath when he releases. And that's why the Lord loved me. When he need to release, you know I need a servant to use you. And your papas and spiritual mamas are liars. They are not going to release out here. Instead of releasing it, they are coming to petty you. Me are releasing it. And the ones who need to be punished, the Lord finding them well, well. Pa, 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 pa. You will know that the God of Shab Shab uh, Jacob and Shadrach don't play rubbish. So to all the black women and the black men especially, if you have daughters who are dark complexion, the one that the whole family makes fun of, even you, you laugh. Stop that thing because the person you are growing, you're gonna cry. The same one you code names is the one that will send your children to school, buy you food, and pay your bills. And you shall carry that shame for the rest of your life. But God will also punish you at the right time because the words that you spoke over the person that is supposed to be your loved one are those nice. Is that nice? She wants to fight with people. Why don't fight on, on ground which is equal? If it does somebody that God created them, ugly. I pray people apply wisdom. If somebody told you that the Lord created you, ugly, tell her that the Lord has never lied. So if you are calling God a lie, speak whatever you want out of your mouth. Decree and declare it. I stand on his word. And the Lord said you will not be a witness and a friend to liars. Try me. I will show you that out of this same woman they call mad, be the wisdom of the Lord. I go drag the devil any day, any time. Bring it on here. Greater is the one in me than what is out here. Hello, let me carry the go. Leg it Baba, my sister, let me go home. My husband will be missing me. This was a good one. Hello? Praise the Lord. Because in African homes, this thing make me wonder. Even me, that's why I change it in my home. There is nothing like that. In my home, we don't speak abusive language to the children. In my home, we don't speak bad things over the boys. No, 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 no. I love my children, brothers and sisters. I love those boys. Now my blessing from the Lord. That's why I call them pastor, engineer evangelist the reason why i call them names that the lord has given me i call them their spiritual names and i also affirm life in them some of you have become comfortable you are ugly you look like a pig you look like an elephant some of you like to compare your children to animals that the lord would if the lord would tell you what that animal stands for and what they use it for in other wicked things you know even call your child that anyway my facebook family let me carry the go brenda God bless you, my sister. I go call you, Brenda. Let me have off day. Let me wake. Today I was waking. I'll see you, my sisters. God bless all of you. Love you. Yes, so. And that's why some people, you want to break your own daughter. You want your mother-in-law. You are breaking your own daughters. You want Sharon to come and mend your daughters. Mm -hmm. And the one who calling their daughter ugly, sister Sharon, they think they are so cute because they put Brazilian hair and makeup. Father, this thing for makeup, it didn't make people walk out, walk out and behave anyhow. This thing for makeup, it didn't make people walk out, walk out and behave anyhow. Tire me. Tire me. Tire me. Period. I just say it out loud. It tire me. Because there is nothing. Nothing beautiful about it. Anyway, my family. God bless all of you, my Instagram family. I'll see you people tomorrow by the will and the grace of God. Shalom. That's why they go to church, seeking Jesus. Jesus is everywhere. How many men of God, my sister, will you run to jump to? In the end, they go cast out demons on you. You go bring them to your children at home. What will you do? What will you do, my sister? What will you do? Hey, bees are coming out, my sister. Let me carry them home. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hello. Let's close. This, this one is closing. My uh, TikTok, have a blessed day. Sister, Efant de, Destiny, Destinia, God bless you, my sister. And thank you for giving us the name at the right time. Shalom, my sisters. I'll see all of you by the will and the grace of God. Bye-bye.
God help my generation, oh. help my generation. Oh. And that's why you see when somebody was a gospel artist before they became famous, natural and beautiful as God created them. The moment they start to go international or travel small, small, how they are all coming up in makeup. My sisters and the devil knows some of my sisters. If you if you see you would see what you look like in the realm of the spirit with that makeup, you know use it. Oh. Let me give five. That's why they say children cry when they they say children cry. I say how can they shout no cry? I'm missing one cup. Anyway, I'll go and do it at home. Let me just close all of them. Lovely. I'll do it at home when I'm in the house. Idris, you see that that internet is finished. My internet is finished. That's why the phone went out. I topped up already this week. Lord, please give me some money for this weekend. I have barbecue for the children in the park. I still need to buy four scooters. I look to the hill where my help comes from. My salary is not yet in. So I'm asking you, God of Shadri, please provide for me. According to your will and your purpose, in Jesus' name, the Son of the Living God, Amen. That's so I pray. Yes. Let's close, brothers and sisters. Let me make sure that I didn't drop my blue. Yeah. Okay, brothers and sisters. Sister Sharon, I'll see all of you, my brothers and sisters, tomorrow by the will and the grace of God. Love all of you. Remain blessed, remain vigilant, faithful, and trusting and depending only in God. I'll see you people tomorrow by the will and the grace of God. Love all of you, and God loves all of you more. Go and get to know him for yourself. Receive the Holy Spirit. Speak to God that God is able to speak to you as well. He doesn't expect special people. He said, whosoever believes, begin to grow your faith. Be a believer in Jesus Christ, born again through the water, the blood, the fire, and the Holy Spirit itself. Come on up. May God bless all of you. Shalom.